Okay, hello everybody. I'm going to do a quick unboxing video of my, uh, just got this from Taiwan. M5 stack. This is like a little uh, wheeled vehicle with a LiDAR sensor on top. is really oh i'm sorry hong kong sorry hong kong i got it from hong kong and it was just like over well that's probably good but there's it was over packed over protected so let me break it out here and show you Bubble wrap everywhere. Gotta get down just to the box itself. There we go. Okay. That's the LiDAR in five. Charger for lithium battery pack. I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but I've just been told so many different things about shipping lithium batteries. See, these batteries are not attached to the robot. I was told that, so no, no, there's two lithium batteries. No warning labels on the package. I am so confused about what you can ship and what you cannot ship as far as lithium batteries go. Here's a little robot. Oh, it's really, it's, it's kind of heavy. Very nice packaging though. Very impressed with the packaging. Need to save that just in case I have to take it somewhere. If you can see that, this is, looks like a USB USB-C. Luckily, I have a tablet that has USB-C. Two batteries. Robot. Charger. Got to have to have to charge this somehow. Remote control for the uh, for the robot. There's USB C there, I think. Yep. USB C. To USB so you connect up here's the robot itself looks like you put both batteries on it's got them with the omnidirectional wheels same thing another looks like another M5 stack USB-C 
on and off switch, LiDAR sensor, LiDAR sensor, Let's see if I can show you that, LiDAR sensor. This is a pretty solid robot. It's very heavy. The motors for the wheels. Be interested to see how fast it goes. Motor controllers. So on. I think battery connection right here. Battery connection on the other side. Batteries are probably low. Let's see what happens. Probably nothing's gonna happen. Whoa. <laughs> It's gonna be fun getting that thing on and off. Charging. It's gonna fun, be fun learning how to use this thing. But, so. I don't, I don't see any directions. I'm probably gonna have to go online and find them, find directions. Wow. There are so many wires in front of this battery connection top of the battery connection. You almost have to stick it in at an angle and then push it down. Everything's in the way. It'd be easier if I could use these those other plugins to charge. Hopefully. Hopefully I can figure that out. And there's the charge. Let's see if I can find a connection there for the to go into the charge. Probably not. Everything's got charge. Nope. I just hoping to turn it on. There it goes. Got to find it on and off switch this guy. So LiDAR suspended. LiDAR is actually mapping, trying to map. I don't know if you can see that. The LiDAR is mapping the... Uh, 
said I need to read the instructions, but looks like it's got the Slam software already in there. Let's bring it down there so you can see it, because it's kind of cool. So the better there. But it is mapping. Change the orientation. I'm not sure where the robot is on the screen. Let's see if I can get it down there closer. That looks like the box right there. Yeah, putting my hand in front of it changes the map. See, yeah. So they got, there's a box. There's basically, hmm. It is trying to, it is mapping. So it's going to be interesting to see how it does the with the M5 stack behind it, behind the LiDAR. It's like a blind spot. This is very cool. Like I said, I need to do a lot more. Uh, I need to do a lot more reading of the instructions. I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a quick unboxing. I need to figure out how to charge the controller. But it does what I was hoping it would do, well, I, which I, what I paid for, is the LiDAR sensor, the mapping. If I can get the if I can get the remote charged, because I think the mo remote is going to show the mapping on it too. The remote for remote. I just don't think the. the remote has any power. Fun little toy to play with. It actually, it looks more like more than a toy. It's like a pretty butt kicking little little robot for the money. Ooh. Yeah, I just need to charge. So if you can see the remote control has the the mapping the screen on it too that's very cool let's see if i can get the remote control to even work yeah there it goes i'm gonna have to do a sweet so with the omnidirectional wheels it basically can go anywhere so yeah, I need to do a better video of it moving around once I got the remote charged. But this is an awesome uh, unboxing and test.
of the robot and the LiDAR. So everything came over fine. Shipping looks fine. Looks like all the motors are working fine. LiDAR is working fine. The remote's working fine. So this is all based off the M5 stack. So you got looks like you got an M5 stack controller on the remote. M5. Oh, you can't see my hand. You got another M5 stack here. A lot of connections. So you can, looks like you can connect with it with uh, USB-C. Not sure what these connections are or that is actually. So my video is getting kind of long, maybe boring everybody. There's the on and off switch. Two batteries are connected. I really like the idea of you having the remote has the uh, map on it. You can see where you are or your robot is remotely. So one of my cats decided that he wants in on the video, so this is probably a good time to sign off this is a unboxing video of my m5 stack lidar remote controlled and probably anatomous robot so thanks everybody for watching